In this video, I'm going to talk about foremilk and hind milk and whether or not the signs that you're seeing are an indication that you have an imbalance going on. I'm also going to touch on some of the things that could cause an imbalance and how to fix them. Are you ready? Let's go. Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. For most moms, I say don't worry about foremilk and hind milk. Your milk is perfect and exactly what your baby needs. If you are making too much foremilk, there are some things that you can do to adjust that, but there aren't things that you will eat that will increase the fat content in your breast milk. Moms will sometimes look at their milk and say it looks thin, it looks watery like skim milk, it even looks bluish, and they believe that there's not enough fat in their milk, but you truly can't tell by looking at it how much fat is in it. So don't let anyone tell you that it doesn't look fatty enough. Foremilk is at the beginning of a feeding or pumping session, and the fat in the milk just gradually changes through the feeding to be slightly higher in fat at the end of a feeding. Your baby needs both foremilk and hind milk. Four milks like their meal and hind milk is more like dessert. Too much four milk can definitely be a problem. It can cause low weight gain, extreme gas, baby will often have green or foamy poops, maybe more explosive kind of poops. Your baby may be misdiagnosed as having dairy allergies or reflux. The main problem with getting too much foremilk is that it has more lactose in it. It doesn't mean that baby has a lactose intolerance, it just means that this extra amount of lactose is upsetting to their tummy. A few of the things that can cause a foremilk, hind milk imbalance are forceful letdown and oversupply, how long baby is latched on each breast, scheduled feedings, and latch issues. I'm going to touch on each of these and tell you why they could be causing a problem and how to fix them. The most common reason that I see for a mom to have foremilk, hind milk imbalance is because she has a forceful letdown and oversupply. Now I'm not going to completely go into that because there's a whole lot that you would need to learn of how to control that condition and I'll put a link for my playlist on that in the description below. The first video will just help you to decide if you have that condition. Now you'll have the condition with every baby, but each baby will handle it differently. So it's important to understand it and to know before the next baby comes how you might help that to be better. When a mom has a forceful letdown and oversupply, baby can't eat enough to get down to that fattier hind milk. If you're making this much milk and you have four milk and say this much hind milk, baby eats through the four milk and the hind milk. But if you are producing a lot more, baby cannot eat enough to get through that four milk and down to that fattier hind milk. Sometimes moms think, well, I could just pump first and get rid of that four milk, right? That sounds like it makes sense. But you're just going to tell your body that it needs to make even more milk and it's going to make the problem worse. Another cause for having too much foremilk is timing how long baby is on each breast. I've even had moms tell me my doctor said to feed baby 15 minutes on each breast each feeding session. And that's going to give baby so much more foremilk and they'll never be able to get down to that fattier hind milk. Baby should be fed on one breast for as long as possible until they seem like they're falling asleep or they're full and kind of coming off that breast. Then switch them to the second side. They may only be on that second side for a few moments or it could be a few more minutes. Either way is fine. But if baby's on that first side, then they got down to that fattier breast milk. The reason why we want baby on the second side is to keep your milk supply up. And in the first few months, this is important, but as baby gets older, most moms can go to having baby just nurse on one side each feeding. Another possibility is when mom does scheduled feedings. I've had moms say, well, I've been told to just feed baby every three hours. 
When you do that, it causes baby to get slightly more for milk. The longer you go in between a feeding, the less fat that there is. When baby eats more often, it increases the amount of fat that baby gets. You'll see babies often go longer in the day and then in the evening, they kind of cluster feed, they eat much more often. That gives them a higher amount of fat and hopefully it helps baby to sleep a little bit longer. But let baby take the lead. There's no need to usually tell baby when they can or can't eat. If they're showing hunger cues, it's best to feed them then. Now the last possible cause that I wanted to mention is poor latch. If baby's not taking in enough, then they're not getting down to that fatty or hind milk. This could be from the way baby's positioned on the breast. It could be a lip or tongue tie. There's many factors. So if you think that it could be the latch in position, be sure to see a lactation counselor to get some individual help. I hope that all of that has been helpful. Let me know if one of these things seem to be the issue that's going on for you, or maybe it just cleared it all up for you and you just feel like, nope, I think I'm doing much better than I realized. If you could give me a quick thumbs up, it will help this video to spread to other mommies who need the information. But if you have any other questions, just leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, mommy. You got this.